In Phase 1 of Season of Discovery, every class will have new abilities they can unlock by finding discoveries during their adventures. These discoveries will unlock runes that can be applied to specific gear slots, which in Phase 1 are chest, legs, and gloves. Due to Blizzard's decision not to hold any public testing for this new game mode, how you'll unlock each ability is for you to discover on your own. As we prepare for the launch of Season of Discovery later this week, you might want to familiarize yourself with these new abilities available to your class. So let's take a look at all the runes that will be available to discover for rogues. Starting with the chest runes, Deadly Brew. When you inflict any other poison on a target, you also inflict Deadly Poison. Just a Flesh Wound. You take 20% reduced physical damage while Blade Dance is active. Additionally, you have 6% reduced chance to be critically hit by melee attacks. The threat generated by all your actions is massively increased, and your faint ability is replaced with Tease, which taunts the target to attack you. Tease taunts the target to attack you, but has no effect if the target is already attacking you. Quick Draw Draw your ranged weapon and fire a quick shot at an enemy, causing normal ranged weapon damage and reducing the target's movement speed by 50% for 6 seconds. Awards 1 combo point. Quick Draw benefits from all talents and effects that trigger from or modify Sinister Strike. Slaughter from the Shadows Reduces the energy cost of your backstab and ambush abilities by 20% does not apply to abilities learned from other runes. Next we have the leg runes. Between the eyes, ranged finishing move that causes damage per combo point increased by attack power and stuns the target. Cooldown shared with kidney shot. Blade dance. Finishing move that increases your parry chance, lasts longer and grants more parry chance per combo point. In venom. Finishing move that deals instant poison damage based on your deadly poison doses on the target. Following the Envenom attack, you have a 75% increased frequency of applying instant poison for 1 second, plus an additional 1 second per combo point. One dose is activated per combo point. And for the Glove Runes, Mutilate instantly attacks with both weapons for 100% weapon damage, plus additional damage with each weapon. Damage is increased by 20% against poison targets, and it awards 2 combo points. Shadow Strike. Teleport behind your target and strike, causing 150% weapon damage to the target. Must be stealthed, awards 1 combo point. Saber Slash. Viciously slash an enemy for 130% weapon damage and cause the target to bleed for damage every 2 seconds for 12 seconds, stacking up to 3 times, awards 1 combo point. Saber Slash benefits from all talents and effects that trigger or modify Sinister Strike. Shiv. Instantly attack with your offhand weapon with a 100% chance to apply the poison from your offhand weapon to the target. Slower weapons require more energy, awards one combo point. Main Gotch. Instantly strike with your offhand weapon for normal offhand weapon damage and increase your chance to parry by 10% for 10 seconds, awards one combo point. Main Gotch benefits from all talents and effects that trigger from or modify Sinister Strike. With Rogue Tanking, there is a potential to gain over 100% avoidance by the time we get to level 60, so I'm going to expect that to get nerfed somewhere along the way. But avoidance tanking is interesting for sure. The idea of a Rogue Tank seemed just as weird as a Mage Healer to me when it was announced, but after seeing the Just a Flesh Wound rune, I get what they're going for here. And if tanking isn't for you, there's still a ton of interesting intricacies to play around with on the other runic abilities. That's it for this video. Which of these runes are you most excited for? I know I'm excited to see how all of them perform and which ones end up being the best in slot for each spec. Feel free to share your own plans for Season of Discovery in the comments and like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Season of Discovery content and until next time, see ya!